So when you first create a Elastic Beanstalk application, you have to choose an environment and you're choosing between web versus worker. Uh, and so if you you need to build a web application, you're gonna be choosing a web environment. But if you need to run background jobs, uh, you can choose a worker environment. In a lot of the cases, when you're building web apps, you're gonna make two environments. You're gonna actually make both of these, one web and one worker, and they're gonna be interconnected uh, together. But let's just talk uh, about the components that are involved here so we have a bit of an idea of how they're different. So on the left-hand side, we have our web environment, and this comes into variants, which we'll talk about uh, in another slide here. Um, but the idea is that you have um, these EC2 instances, maybe it's one, maybe it's multiples, uh, and they're running an auto scaling group. Uh, and uh, it also creates an elastic load balancer for you, which is optional. If you want to save money, you just don't have one there. And that goes out to the internet. Uh, so it's a very simple setup here on the left hand side. But then on the right hand side, we have our, um, our worker environment. And this is again for background jobs. Um, so you'd have your EC2 instances, they would be in an auto scaling group. Um, and uh, it, you'd also create an SQS queue. So if you didn't have a queue, it would create one for you. Uh, and then it would also install the SQS daemon on all those EC2 instances so that it can um, uh, seamlessly communicate with the SQS queue. Um, but it also has this other setup here, which uh, CloudWatch will watch uh, the amount of instances you have. Um, so that if you're under capacity, it will spin up more instances and adjust the auto scaling group there. So that's really nice. So there you go. That's your web and worker environments.